Hi, it's Wilhelm from thecastle.com. And this is a video tutorial on uh, a new biodiorama project that I just completed called Jack and the Beanstalk for obvious reasons. I have a. Uh, if you've seen my other biodiorama, you know what that means is that I combine biological, some kind of biological thing, in this case, uh, real bean plants, which these are that I planted here, and I have them in a planter, and I'll show you how I did that with uh, diorama aspects, and in this case it's Jack and the Beanstalk. So Jack's climbing up the Beanstalk, everybody knows the story, and the giant is waiting for him up here. Also, I sculpted these, didn't have any, so I sculpted Jack and I sculpted the giant. And I have some video on that and some pictures, and tomorrow I will post a video on that and how I did that, so you can get a sense for sculpting miniatures. So in a second I'll launch into the video tutorial to show you the basics of how I built this whole thing. And I, but I just wanted to say too that I have that other bio diorama with the um, hatching butterflies inside a little cave in the adventure. And that one's really neat. You might want to look that one up. And I also have uh, lots of tutorials on how to sculpt miniatures like this using clays. You know, all the different types of techniques and clays on how to sculpt them. So it really, actually, was a fun project, and I really like the, you know, the theme and the idea of it. It, it freezes a moment in time, so it tells and it tells a story that we're all familiar with. So let me launch right into the tutorial. Okay, here's how I built the diorama, just the base, the, the structure of it. I haven't done any of the terrain on it. I will be doing that and I will show you that. But it's pretty simple. All this is is three pieces of wood, 9 by 18 here, with a couple of 2 by 4s. And, uh, let's take a look, see? 2 by 4s. The 2 by 4s are just support to raise this surface up so I can put the plant in there. And now I can just drop the plant in there, and then at any time I can take it out and care for it or do whatever I want to do with it. So it sits there. I just cut a hole. See it? I also drilled a hole here and a hole in this sheet of Lexan so I could uh, attach a rod. And I used threaded rod for that, quarter inch threaded rod. You can use a dowel if you wanted. I put tape over the threaded rod so I could paint it. I'll paint it green, and I will be attaching this to kind of hide it. I'll be attaching the beanstalk to it so it looks kind of like it's part of the beanstalk. I um, just use nuts and washers to secure it all in place reasonably tight. And I've got a hole here for the plant to come out of and for Jack to climb out of well, at the top of the beanstalk. So this is just a sheet of Lexan polycarbonate. You can use a thin piece of wood if you want, but because this is going to be clouds, I thought it would be nice to use some Lexan because it will kind of give it a little bit of a see-through look and a little bit of a light. So that's it, just some wood, some kind of a rod, piece of something up here, and your beanstalk. And that's the whole structure. It wasn't hard to do. It took me, I'm not sure, an hour, an hour and a half to make this. So now I do the diorama uh, terrain materials, both up here, down here, and then I will have to do the miniatures, the figures that go in here, Jack, the giant, and the goose, and of course the egg, golden egg. Okay, so this diorama is just about done. This is the Jack and the Beanstalk diorama. And uh, let's take a look. I'll show you a little something. There's Jack uh, climbing up the Beanstalk. And of course, when he gets to a certain point, he's got a surprise waiting for him. Right? Let's take a look here. If the camera will go up high enough. There we go. There's that giant waiting for Jack. So. It's a fun, I, I haven't done the goose or the golden egg yet. I, you know, I'll do those, but I, I may publish this video without it. That's just a little bit more needs to be done. Otherwise, you know, this has been a fun project. 
I had a lot of fun making it and uh, it's a diorama project and also a couple of sculpting miniatures which is uh, kind of nice. So, lots more fun stuff on my website at stormthecastle.com. I get all kinds of dioramas, all kinds of miniatures, sculpting miniatures, painting miniatures, uh, terrariums, and this one kind of covers a lot of different ones. One more look at that giant. There we go. There's Jack climbs the beanstalk. Giant came out pretty good. I like him. He's just waiting there. <laughs>